Hey guys, it's Covert Arms, and I'm here to clear up some confusion with a question that I get a lot of in the gun community, or I hear a lot of, and, and there's a lot of confusion and misinformation on the matter. I'm here to clear it up. You might notice before me these two rifles, they have the serial covers, uh, or the serial numbers covered up by a serial cover, and I'll have the links to these in the description. I make them, tons of different colors available, there's camo options too, but what this is, is they're specially cut patches, that adhesive on top of the serial numbers on your guns. And we'll go into why you want to do this and if it's legal. But first, why would you want to do this? So personally, this product I created because I don't want my serial number out there. And I'll talk about that in a sec. But you can tape over your serial numbers. That's fine. But it didn't look great. I mean, it looked just didn't look nice. But these are specially cut and angled to fit universally AR-15 lowers. And it just makes it look, I mean, it looks a lot cooler than tape. And I do that personally because I'm an Instagram influencer. Yeah, and a small YouTube one. But my Instagram, at Covert Arms, has, oh man, 17, 18,000. I can't even remember what it's at. But I want to post my guns on there, and I want to post images of them. But if I post them and I don't blur out the serial numbers, that could be a possible problem. The reason being, you can actually look up that serial number information. You can look up location data, model stuff. It's, it's just not good to have that out there. But I didn't want to put the tape on that didn't look cool, and I didn't want to blur them out every single photo. It's a lot of effort, and it's impossible to do with a video at, at uh, if you move the gun around. So instead, I produced this product, specially made for the lowers, that covers up your brand data on the other side, your uh, serial numbers, and your locational data. Super, super awesome. Now, what can you actually do with the serial number? Now, there's there's an interesting case of this. Uh, a little a little while ago, I was looking up on YouTube, and there's these guys that would look up people's rap videos. And in these music videos, all these hood guys and the gangs, they'd be waving around their guns, and you could see the serial numbers. What they would do is they would look up those serial numbers, and I was I was stunned at the amount of information they were able to find on these guns. They were able to find what uh, what the gun the models were obviously, but who owned them, previous ownership. They're able they're even able to find out crimes committed with those guns, which, man, that was crazy. So for me, there's just no reason to have that stuff out there. With these covers now, I can take photos with them. I don't have to worry about that. I can bring it to the range, leave it out there. Don't have to worry about any of that. Take videos. It, it doesn't matter. That's a great part. So is this legal? Now, there's actually some uncertainty with the extent of serial numbers, and I'll talk about that. But first, covering it up, that has always been and, uh, and is perfectly legal perfectly legal to put tape over here to put adhesive like these patches uh the serial covers any which i'll have a link to in the description any of that kind of stuff that's cover perfectly legal when it gets into a uh possibly pushing the lines territory is actually scratching out the serial numbers or editing them in any way distorting them now that should be legal constitutionally the problem is as you guys know very well, the people who regulate our firearms don't really like the Constitution all that well. And so that there's been court cases brought up about this in 2021, 2022. But the problem is you're probably still going to get in trouble if you do that. And the reason being, even if federally these laws are overturned, the states take a while to actually realize that the court system is not good at upholding those things. And uh, your cops aren't going to know that for a little in most cases. Plus, there's been a lot of recent laws being passed about ghost guns. And those ghost gun laws, uh, they, prior, pr they primarily function off of serial numbers. And if your gun doesn't have a serial number now, it's illegal by their standards. So those laws overwrite the previous laws anyway. Even if they were to make those laws now null and void, the new laws are going to uh, oversee them. And now, now you're, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So... The question is, can you can you legally etch off your serial number and destroy it? Constitutionally, yeah. Federally, maybe. But you're probably still going to go to jail for it and face a lot of legal troubles to fight your way out of it. You may win in the end, but my question to you is, is it worth it? And that's why I chose personally this method. Just cover them up with these serial covers, and that works perfectly for me. I've got a black one on here. I've got a ranger green one on here. And there's a bunch more camo patterns I make for these. Every single one is hand-checked. I'll have the link to them in the description. They're sold at defensedistributors.com. And there you go. That's why I use serial covers on all of my guns now. It makes my life a lot easier in general. If you guys have ways that you get around this problem or anything you want to share about this, drop it in the comments. 
Always love feedback. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing more of this kind of stuff in the future, especially solutions-based. That's what my channel and idea is geared around. I'm trying to create solutions for problems that you guys are facing because as a small company, I get to do that. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.